Hi Libra, Narai here, gonna do a reading for you. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please know to take what fits and leave the rest as this is not a personal reading. We are gonna see what Spirit has for you. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libra, please and thank you. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Two of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. <laughs> Oops, I dropped a card. Death. Two of Swords. Oh my gosh, Ace of Cups, stop it. So, <clears throat> I feel like, based on the cards that have come out, that you are having to make a choice. Um, for some of you, there may be a little bit of a struggle in order to find balance, especially Libra, if you've been by yourself or if you have had relationships where things have not been harmonious, okay. um, maybe it's a little bit of a challenge being in a relationship where there's emotional harmony. This is you prioritizing, deciding what's important, juggling. Um, it could be a difference between juggling between yourself and a relationship, especially if in the past, you've put your all into a relationship and kind of didn't take care of yourself or make yourself a priority. It's a little bit of a balancing act to be able to be in a relationship, give to that relationship, but also give to yourself. I feel like there is an aspect of yourself that you have let go of, maybe a certain way of doing things. There was an, a death, a symbolic death. So there was an ending and a new beginning Maybe your whole outlook on relationships is different now, especially romantic relationships. This could be, and I do this for my readings because everybody's not looking for a romantic love. This could be balancing the harmony in all of your relationships or friendships, work relationships. For those of you that are looking for love, this could be balancing a relationship that is harmonious, especially if in the past you have had relationships where there is conflict. And it could be that you were trying to have harmony in a relationship where there's a lot of conflict because of the other person or yourself. Um, so there's some sort of release, some sort of death. There is a, a, a major choice. We have two choice cards. So the first card, the Two of Pentacles, has to do with a choice. The Two of Swords has to do with a difficult choice. So there's some sort of major choice you have to make. And for some of you, it may be starting a new relationship or it could be self-love. Maybe the difficulty is between you balancing a relationship and love for yourself. That could be what it is. One more card. Oops. Well, take a leap of faith. Get out of your comfort zone. This is about a new beginning. So we're going to see what comes out here of these cards for you, Libra. I know this reading is quite short. I feel like for some of you, you're trying to find harmony in a relationship and maybe it's because of the other person. There's some sort of change needed. Maybe the change is in your relationship. Oh my gosh, I just realized. I know who this reading is for. Well, I know one person that's gonna relate to this. It just dawned on me. There's change that is needed.
And it doesn't necessarily mean that changes you, but you may need to have a conversation with someone. All right, I had an interruption, so I'm sorry. Message and guidance for Libra, please and thank you. Okay. Love. This is definitely about love for a lot of you. And it could just be about seeing how beautiful love is and, and paying attention to the loving actions of people. This could be about something that you really love. Okay, thank you. Healing chaos. There is some sort of chaos in somebody's relationship where it's supposed to be harmonious and it's not, or the harmony is a struggle. This is an opportunity to heal the chaos. And let's see what comes out of these cards, please, spirit. Thank you for Libra. Okay, this came out. Patience. Slow down, change your attitude, and clear your mind. And then marriage came out. You are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. And maybe that means that there's struggle balancing a harmonious relationship and the major decision, the hard choice, is a new love opportunity that's coming. So it's kind of like if this person doesn't get their act together, you could possibly, if there's a new love opportunity, may entertain a new love opportunity if this person doesn't get it together. That's another story. Okay. Love. Love surrounds all your connections. Move forward positively in all areas of your life. And one more. This one, please. Fool. Have the courage to embrace change, take risks, be adventurous. For some of you, there's going to be an opportunity for a new love connection, a new beginning. And the reason being is because even though the Ten of Cups is supposed to be a harmonious relationship, some of you are having struggles balancing the harmony. And it may be because of you or it could be because of the other person. Whoever's argumentative is creating the problem here. So I love you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, bye.